Now the real question is, do you need to upgrade from this to this? No, you do not. Stay tuned to find out why. All right, so ready, go. Uh. No, HP gave out. All right, remember they said the new HP compact tools are more powerful than the older ones. That is not being proven yet. All right, let's see if this can continue this one. A little bit more. Done. Yep. So far, you do not need to upgrade. Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are actually going to do a versus video between the new Ryobi Compact Drill Driver versus the older drill driver. Now, both of these are brushless tools and they both work with the HP system. Supposedly, this works with the HP system, which I do not see in how well that works. When it comes to the older HP batteries, I, I don't see in how that works because the HP system only works with terminals on the back of the of the battery the new uh, compact tools do not have that terminal now you need to reprogram this board for this to read the hp system if it's not using the same terminals which i don't see in how that works so i do not know if the older hp batteries work as an hp battery in the compact tools now i do know that the 1.5 amp hour batteries that come with the new tool are HP batteries that don't need the terminal behind the battery. We'll find that out in an episode in the future, so please subscribe, subscribe to the channel and like this video. We are gonna see in this video if this is worth upgrading your older brushless drill driver. I'm curious myself, I can't believe I haven't done this video on this yet, so let's look at the specs and let's see and how well these actually do against each other. Now in this video, we will be using the three amp hour high output 21700 cell battery. This uh, the battery is model number P195. They both are full on both tools. They're both full. So let's see on how well these actually go against each other. All right, so for the older model, which at the when I first bought this, I thought it was awesome because it actually is pretty powerful, but not as powerful as its competitors. I never had an issue with this. But at the same time, I didn't really push this tool to the limits in previous videos because my tests back then weren't nearly as good as they are now. They're not as intense as they are now. And so we'll see on how well this actually holds up. So this is model number P252, half inch uh, metal chuck with plastic housing. This has a 22 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. Two speed settings. First speed is zero to 500 RPM and on speed two, zero to 1800 RPM. Now this does have the old school magnet uh, tray on the base and it does have a bit holder on the front. And so yeah, uh, LED light on the base as well. Brushless motor. And this does work with the HP system. That's the older version of the drill driver. The new and improved compact drill driver this is model number PSBDD01CN, half inch metal chuck with a plastic housing. Now the chuck does have a sliding, I do not know what exactly what this part is called, but this does slide so it, you don't ruin a surface, which is a good thing. And so yes, this uh, no magnet on the, on, the, on the bottom. This does have a single LED light on the base. This has a 23 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. And two speed settings. First speed is zero to 450 RPM, and on speed two, it is 1700 RPM. And that is 50 RPMs less on speed one and 100 RPMs less on speed two than the older version. Now, this scheme is green and black, which I love. It looks so much better than the green and gray. It, lo it looks more professional than green and gray, so. And I will say that this, uh, that this drill does feel heavier than the compact version. So this is the Ryobi One Plus HP line. This is a rubber molding instead of just a sticker like uh, on the older version is. So as you can see, there is depth. There you go. And so, yeah, I do like that better. That looks so much better than just a sticker, but 
All right, so let's see what these can do against each other. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Alrighty, and like I said, both of these batteries are full. Full. And full. Alright, so we're just going to do a couple of uh, various tests to see how well this actually does. So first, we are going to use a pressure treated 2x4. We are going to use the older Ryobi first. Let's start off with the one inch. There we go, it's on speed two. Let's see in how well this does on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. Ready, go. Time, it did it very well. All right, let's do the new compact HP. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Let's do one more. Ready, go. Wow, uh, I could already tell that this is a this is actually a lot slower than that one. The other one plowed through that. This not this one not so much. All right, so next let's go to the three quarter inch drill bit. Milwaukee drill bit, by the way. Right here is good. Well, let's do two holes in a row. Now I am going to say if we're going to do three holes, three holes each. If either of these drills stop for any reason on speed two, it failed the test. All right, so ready, go. It did it, it did it. This, this is a hard task to not stop on speed two. And that one did it. Or let's see if the compact can do the same. We're gonna do three holes. Let's extend that out a little bit. It's on speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Oh, failed the test. It failed. All right, it failed the test, but I just want to see if it stops one more time. Yep, failed the test. So the Ryobi Compact Series failed that test. Now, just in case, Just in case, let's do that one more time with this. Let's do a couple of holes. All right, let's do three more holes. Let's see if this fails. Ready? Ready? Go. Nope, did not fail. All right, so are the older brushless Ryobi is is actually winning. I that's actually crazy. I honestly thought that it that it wouldn't. This just shows me that the HP is working a lot better on this tool than it is on the new compact tool. So that just tells me that the new compact tool is not receiving the HP power. It's not now I want to do and oh I want to do one test. I got to get a uh, a smaller the new HP battery. Let's see how well this does against that. All right, so I was told by multiple sources that the new uh, 1.5 amp hour batteries are HP. So we will see if how well this actually does 
with the new HP battery. Now, if this if this fail if this does this task, then I am sorry you guys, but your older HP batteries are not working with your new HP compact tools. All right, so battery is full. This, sh this should do it flawlessly if their HP system truly works because the other one did it flawlessly. All right, ready, go. Oh, it came out. That one doesn't count, it came out. I didn't tighten it, tighten it enough. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready, go. Yep, flawlessly. Let's increase the task. This thing is, this, uh, I haven't used this in a while because I've been using uh, 12 volt tools, but this thing is actually pretty powerful. Let's use a one and a quarter inch speed board. Let's see if it's able to do it on speed two. If not, we'll go to speed one. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it, nope, failed on speed. Failed on speed two, let's go to uh, speed one. Right here is good. All right, so ready, a little bit more, ready. Go. Time. Time. All right, let's do the Ryobi HP compact. See if we can do it on speed two. I doubt it. Ready? Go. Nope, immediately stopped. Speed one is required. Well, I'm just gonna use the same hole because it, it immediately stopped. All right, ready, go. Time. Time. Yeah, see, speed one is required for stuff like this in a lot of tools, which you really should be using speed one anyways in real life on the, on the job site. But that's why I do these videos uh, to see if their motors can even handle it, and I've proven that both of these cannot. Yeah, in my personal opinion, this is not fact. I think that the new HP Compact Series does not work with your older HP batteries. That, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. The, the HP part of the battery, I, it just doesn't. So already, what we're gonna do next is I am, I do wanna see if these could drive in a four inch lag. I doubt it, but I want to see in how far they could actually drive it in. But let's uh, start off with a couple of uh, two specs and a timber, and let's start off with a six inch specs and an eight inch timber lock each. Let's see how well these do with that first. I do like the, the new HP. I like their chuck better. You have, a, you have far more grip than you do with this one. Speed two. Oh, let's start off with, let's start right here. All right, so ready, go. Whoa, that's interesting. But are you not able to do it anymore on speed two? This is a, this is a light log, it's not heavy. Try it again. Nope, unable to do it on speed two. Let's uh, take it out. Let's try it again on speed one. It's on drill. All right, so ready, go.
time. That one, that took a while. I will admit that one took a while. All right, let's see if this is able to do it on speed two. Try it right here. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, not even close. Take it out. Right here is good, it's on speed one. Ready, go. Time. Wow, those two took a while. All right, so let's take them out. Ready, go. Time. Nope, it smells like a regular working motor, which is good. All right, let's take it out for this one too. All right, so ready, up to speed one, yep, ready, go. All right, so considering, uh, I wanna try it anyways, just because, let's put this on the uh, jaw horse. Let's take that out with uh, impact. I don't wear out those batteries. So for this, so let's take it out with an impact. All right, we're, once again, we're gonna do it with this. This is a lot more safe because now I could have the, both hands on the tool instead of trying to hold this by itself. Alrighty, I'm curious. I've never, I've never tried it with, with these. Let's see if these are able to drive in a four inch lag. I am 100% dead curious. No pre-drill. As you can see, it's on drill, battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. Almost. Almost. Done. Nope, doesn't smell like a burning motor. Smells like a regular, regular motor. Wow, it did it. I, I, I never even thought about testing it with this, but it actually did it. That's impressive. That is impressive. All right, let's do the Ryobi HP next. Right next to it. Right here is good. Battery is at three bars on the HP. All right, so ready, go. Uh, no HP gave out. It, the HP, HP compact gave out. Yep, it's on speed one, it's on drill. All right, so let's actually continue. Let's see if the older version could actually finish it. All right, remember, they said the new HP compact tools are more powerful than the older ones. That is not being proven yet. All right, let's see if this can continue this one. A little bit more. Done. Yep. So far, you do not need to upgrade. I would, If you have this one, do not upgrade to the compact uh, tool. This one is far more powerful than the new compact tool. All right, but let's see if, let's see how well this does to take it out. All right, ready, go. Immediately, immediately took it out. Let's see if the compact version can take it out as well. Here we go. All right, so ready, go. Yes, it can. It's able to take it out. I'll give it that. It's able to take it out. And there we go. So based on the test that I've just done, I do not believe you need to upgrade from this channel 
to this drill. Yes, it's more compact, but you lose a lot of power than you do with this drill. Now, yeah, I'm actually very, after doing this test, I honestly thought that this was gonna completely destroy this, but that is not the case. This completely destroyed the new compact version, which that is actually sad because Ryobi is supposed to be innovating right now. And they did innovate, but they actually lowered their tool performance. And yeah, and it the both the batteries were full. This one's a full A of uh, this battery is full. And this battery has three bars. So it actually seemed like that this one actually used more battery power than the older HP brushless version. So that's a huge disappointment. I, I am not gonna lie, I haven't used this tool in a while and I for, I've forgotten how powerful this actually is. It actually is a pretty powerful brushless motor for a good price. I, I thought it was gonna immediately fail doing the four inch lag, but it was able to do it. It was able to do it, but this one did not. When it comes to the HP compact tool using HP batteries, it to just based on this test it does not seem it doesn't it doesn't seem like it actually is using the hp part of the battery it seems like it's just using a regular battery so now i do not know if you are for this if you're required to use the new hp batteries to use the hp part of this tool because if that's the case they gotta they better make uh higher amp hour batteries for the new for the new batteries so so yeah, that's actually a major disappointment. I just wanna show you guys that you don't need to upgrade to the new drill if you already have this one. So if you found this video very informative and entertaining, please like this video and please hit the bell button so we know about future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.